Hey Click Designers, in this video I'm going to show you how to use Click Design's AI tools using our AI text to image feature through prompts. Aside from that, we're also going to cover how to use negative prompts to create better image results. Let's get started! I'm here on my Click Designs account and I clicked on Start from Scratch. If you have purchased Click Designs AI Tools or Click Designs Business Plus, you should see the Image AI icon on the lower left hand side of your editor. Let's click that. Under What would you like AI to create, I will type in this prompt Santa with six pack abs, jacked, wearing a small vest, showing his muscular physique, looking at the camera. Then we can write negative prompts which are used to avoid the deformity of the image because the way AI works is sometimes it can generate three hands or maybe deformed eyes, weird facial expressions, and more. So our negative prompt will guide the AI engine to avoid those blurry or disfigured designs. For this example, we're going to write blurry, bad anatomy, deformed, disfigured, poor face, mutation. Then we'll select two image variations. Let's choose a style as well and an aspect ratio. Once done, let's click on generate image. Now we've got this results. Let's click on one image. Every time we use AI, it gives us different results. Let's now go back and click on edit description. Let's paste another prompt. This time it's for Nike shoes. Then let's paste some more negative prompts. This is the example output we got. We've got two amazing results. If you're not satisfied with the image output, you can always click on regenerate or we can change the image style. Now let's try something else and enter a new prompt. The most delicious burger. Then let's type our negative prompt. Let's choose a style and a wide background. Let's hit on generate. Here are the images we've got. Check out these images. They're just marvelous. Now, let's do another example. Let's paste a new prompt, add the negative prompts, then choose a style and an aspect ratio. Look at that. You can also play around with the AI image editor and then use different effects. Let's now do another example. Let's type in this prompt, coloring page of children playing. Then let's hit on generate image. Check these out. Aren't they great? So we can regenerate for more examples. The more details you give the AI engine through your prompts, the more detailed your image will be. So let's try this. Let's type in this prompt. Illustration of a red-haired punk woman with a mohawk, neon colors, electric sparks. Then let's choose a style. Let's choose neon punk. And here, here's what we've got. We can change this from a woman to a dragon. Let's edit the prompt. Let's see what will happen. There you go. You can actually try different variations and each time you get a different kind of variation, it really depends on what you're looking for and your creativity. This time, let's select anime 3D. Now, let's go back and type a portrait of a man and his dog. That's going to be our prompt. And we'll select the photographic style and then as the aspect ratio we're going to choose wide hit on generate and look at our results you can always find your generated images inside your image library isn't this amazing okay so i'll go back and let's try the man and a dog image but this time with anime the anime style we already have our negative prompt, so we just need two variations and then I will select anime under styles. And just so we have all the settings covered, I will select the square aspect ratio and then generate the image. This time, we selected anime 
and it gave us different results. Previously, we selected the photographic style, which gave us unique results. Now we chose anime, and these are completely different. Let's do another one. Let's type in a pile of oranges, product photography, and then select the cinematic style with a wide aspect ratio. Hit generate, and these are the results we've got. Now you can go back and edit the prompt. Let's add the words half off, and then select the photographic style in square aspect ratio. Take a look. Let's try a couple of more prompts and I paste in a new prompt. So to get more prompts, you can actually go to ChatGPT to search for a prompt or search for something that you want to use, or you can search any available prompts online. Just type in what you want and you can find various prompts for that. For this example, I will select the comic book style and then select vertical for the aspect ratio. Then let's hit on generate. Wow, this is pretty cool. Let's add this one to our canvas, add a text, and here we can easily create our graphics. Let's go back. Now let's create a t-shirt mock-up. I'll generate a t-shirt mock-up of a happy, quirky young male model showing off his blank white t-shirt, maybe in a medium shot and isolated. I included a camera type as well, so the AI engine will know that we just want a photo to look like it's taken from a Sony A7, right? Then I'll select a photographic style and then I'll select vertical aspect ratio, then hit generate an image. Sometimes the results are not how you want them to look like, so all you need to do is just regenerate a new image. So I'll delete these first and then I'll go back and select a new one. Yeah, so this one looks great. Now we can go inside the AI image editor and then just remove the background as well. So we can remove the background. You can add your own image or your own text and then you can just create something completely new. Let's try one more example. Um, this time let's use a prompt. Maybe let's make it simple, a simple 3D food truck. And then let's select the 3D style and then let's select a square aspect ratio and then click on generate image. So the result is not as good as we wanted. So we go and maybe we go back and then edit the description. This time let's choose the isometric style. Of course, we can regenerate it, and then each time the results will be different. All right, so let's click on isometric and then click on generate, and let's see the result. Take a look. It's amazing. It's 3D and it's isometric. So we can click on the color picker tool right here on top on the upper left, click on the image background color to copy the color code and then paste the color code on your background in the canvas. Then let's crop it out a little bit and then we can add our content right here and it just looks completely wonderful. We have different styles like line art, analog frame, plus many more. So what are you guys waiting for? Create your own AI images and don't forget to share them with us right here on Facebook. We can't wait to see what you guys will come up with. So, happy AI click designing!